And hello my brave knights, princesses and princesses, welcome back to Let's Play Metro Exodus. When last left off, we basically got past the fanatics and had a nice little conversation with with Anna about well she more talked than us about you know stuff. Okay. Oh, look. It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artem. Ah, hi, Artem. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. You right. Uh, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach. Yet, there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. Yep. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. Please do. Then it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Well, Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <laughs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. I mean, I don't mean to break things, but... Uh What would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Tokarev, do you have a sewing machine? <laughs> no, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits then? <laughs> well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle, and I use a sail stitch. Wow, cool! Can you teach me? I sure can, but later. I've got work to do. Will you let me fix Sam's rifle strap? Well, sure thing. Oh, but under supervision. Sam is so strict, you know. Hurra! And Uncle Sam isn't strict at all. He's kind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look here. I'll show you once. Now we do this. I'm sorry, I'm standing here, but there's just so much. I see. There's a. You have got to be careful here. See? Yes. Okay. Yes. And now, this way. Got that. Don't rush it here. Okay. A smoke break. That's good. <sighs> oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. Don't kill yourself, dude. Well, uh, you are the right kind of guys. You, the colonel, the duke, that guy did a swell job on the beach. <laughs> Look at you two. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a gem? 
Come on, pick the guitar up. Okay. Well, the maestro is about to impress you. I know Miller wants me, but he's been giving me a lot of flex, so he's going to wait. We're going to make him wait. I know, it's kind of mean. Thank you, Stepan. Yep. I'm sorry to ask, Katja, but... Not just father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. See, he used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here. Quite close if you go in a straight line. But it took us a month. Everything's bombed to rubble out there. Yermak asked me and I told him. Sini used to say there are lots of military factories out there. Not just military, of course. General industry. And now you can't pass through there even with filters. The radiation is so high. No railway either. Just crater upon crater. We were quite far, but our counter still went crazy. One route appeared intact. There was nothing to bomb. So we used that one, thinking we'd get further to the west, but... But of course they did not let us cross the bridge with the diesel. They said <laughs> it was satanic. They were ready to let us stay if we gave them the diesel to cleanse it. So we stayed. And then we couldn't leave, even if we wanted. That old goat, Father Silentius, brainwashed everyone, so they would just pray and bow nonstop. They broke our diesel down with their bare hands and threw it into the river. Purification. And on top of it, they gave us trouble for not helping them. Senia went to check what was going on, and there were only locals there. Because Silentius at the Scatina had sent our people away to test them. He said that if they wanted to be truly accepted, they had to defeat a demon. Senia went to stop them. But it was too late. He only found burnt rags. Wow. And then they sent him to do the same. He never came back. Katya, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Well, you really didn't. What's done is done. <clears throat> <sighs> it kind of got so glum in here. Hmm. Perhaps you, Stepan, could play us something. Sure thing! I'll stop it already! <laughs> well, what did you expect? Hey, Artyom, <laughs> the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. So, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it! <laughs> Artyom did most of the work! <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You ask me about the Vest yourselves. <laughs> Alright, go on. So, I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds Thank on you. to me. What does? 
Oh, how should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, uh, and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> well, you Duke are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artem did most of it. Did my game just crash on me? Really? I don't know why the game crashed, it just felt like it. Hello, Miller. Come here, Artem. Yes. Listen. I had a talk with the Ark. And all thanks to Dokura, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, I identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that a checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, a medical? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major. And I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, uh, I see. Well, this is great. Great! Yes, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6, Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. K-6, uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters ever reported in the area, Colonel. I regret I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor! Thank you! Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information, uh, but... I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Well, see you in the Ark. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? I'm so excited my hands are still shaking. I'm still doubting. Oh, the minister himself. This is incredible. By the way, Artem, you should take a look at the map. Okay. And again, because the game crashed, we have our off too familiar movement problem thing that is going to be probably plaguing me to the day this game is over. But you notice that he goes from being jovial and friendly to being, like, a squad. Oh, like... I don't As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Chris tell me that the line there is in decent condition. 
Okay. Surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. So we can hope for smooth sailing from here and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yurimak, where were we? You were saying it's all about the results. Ah, yes. These soft-bellied attitudes must stop. The ends do justify the means. Well, I don't object. But not all ends can be called just. Exactly. And this is why... Why I have been waiting for a chance like this for ages. And now everything seems to be coming together. It's the government. Don't you understand? Oh, but of course. Hmm. You don't seem to uh, quite grasp the importance, which is unexpected, especially. The other thing I don't like about Miller is the fact that he literally is we are approaching the selling us. Bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. Yeah, well... I don't want to go back there. Like, it, we just are going back underground. It's become it become it becomes pointless. It's like, do you not see we were we were literally walking on the surface without having to wear masks? It's not going to be that easy. I have a feeling that something is going to happen. I don't trust these people. Wow, look at this place. Don't go too fast and watch out for radiation. Over. It's beautiful. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. You get this. We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. I agree. Shh. Don't say that. Over, Colonel. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on. Passengers, get inside and button up. Yes, of course. Come on, Master. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for our team and me. Roger that, sir. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? <laughs> Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us. Or else I'll never hear the end of it. A <laughs> wise decision. Yeah. Yermak, stop the engine. Look at this place. No. Take the Aurora back to the safe zone and sit back right there. We know that right now. Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. 
see that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> Wow. Whoa. Look at all those cars. Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Yeah. Well, we're almost there. Look at this place. It's so ominous. No, 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 no. This is a bad place. Now we should not come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. I don't like it either. Oh, see, nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Bye. Look! Uh oh Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Yeah. I still don't like this. The place is huge. I feel like I'm going back into Black Mesa. Yeah. That's not the problem. It literally... Do you mean it though? Thanks for not giving up. Do you mean it though? I'm shaking. Oh. I'm scared. Like I am nervous cuz I'm expecting the unexpected. There goes nothing. Oh boy. Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller reporting. 
I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Uh oh. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Okay. Called it. Is planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I, I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that call from I'll hers. I'll tie my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. You fucker! Let me... Let me go! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. You understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get you now! Long, 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 Thanks. Okay then. So they went cannibalistic, huh?
guy. Wow. Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same exactly. D6. I'm quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge. And we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. She's probably in the sick bay. Alright, you guys have fun. Okay. Ow. Real shame. No. Bad, bad guy. So in not having food, you guys result to cannibalism, huh? That's depressing. Not the very warm welcome you were expecting, did you, Miller? I'm aware, Miller.
Ow. Seriously, if you guys thought you were going to eat us, well, think again. Well then. I'm glad I'm not you, buddy. Brent crawling. There was meat. And you think shooting us? It's going to help your case, any? You'd be fill you'd be filling your meat with lead. You didn't think that very far through. I mean, if you guys really want to, you should just start eating each other. One. I'm not ending this episode till I find Anna. I'm too invested right now. Come on, do I have a gun? Well...
is bad. Excuse me. Did I get him? I got him. Whew. Okay. I just had to throw molotovs at him. Fun. Can I have your gun, dude? I might just take his gun. How much is in here? Let's see. Sixty five bullets versus sixty five bullets. That's hard. You know what? You guys deserve to burn. Oh. Okay. You guys have anything I can use? Well, he's definitely dead. I know, I know, there are book entries and I'm missing them, I, I, I'm aware. Oh wow, you're definitely dead. I'm good. I'm cool. Let's report to the colonel. Dad, it's me. Uh, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Oh, thank God. Well done, Artyom. Where do they go now? There's an elevator straight down the corridor. It goes right to the command center. Let's go. 
Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. Yeah. Okay. Sure. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Silentius with his damn fanatics. Yeah. But no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker I now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision <laughs> to get Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. Okay. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. You're right, of course. But you will get to it forever. <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time with what is allotted to me. With that guy over there. I'm grown attached to him. Don't. I understand. Well then. I don't being shot. I just want to get out of here.
Yeah, I'm out of ammo. Bye. <sighs> Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. A few hours later. I think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> and if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Sound the horn, then! <coughs> months of constant trial but after Yamantau we are ready for anything fate can throw at us mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian one communication center will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace I don't know but what's left for us but hope the desert is taking its toll the crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. Ugh. Okay, this is a problem. When we come back, guys, more of this game, until then, leave a like and subscribe, because I always root for more. See you next video. Goodbye, everyone.